Aliens vs. Predator Requiem book. This is an awesome book. It's uh, Inside the Monster Shop by Alec Gillis and Tom Woodruff Jr. This is the second movie um, AVP made. And um, I really recommend this book if you're into Aliens and Predator. So on the first page they show this really nice uh, picture of a uh, Wow, look at that. Of the aliens uh, hive. Here's a nice picture of the Predator Wolf with the new version of the alien for ABI and Requiem. So, this book basically covers the same um, things that the first book I showed has, which is a uh, concept, sculpting, uh, animatronics, the crew, the people who work on it, the artists, uh, detail stuff on the sculptures and concept stuff. So it's a pretty cool book. Um, it's, a, it's a really good source for um, reference if you're an artist. And um, it's just a beautiful book. I won't be able to show you everything because there's not, there's not enough time, but I'll try to show you all the stuff that I like about the book. That's the alien. All right. And uh, he's a, right here. He was. He just got out of the water, I think, or he's in the woods. Not sure. Um, it's just an awesome book. <laughs> Here's where he Pred alien just kills the uh, doc. And the, here he just comes out of the water. That's the one I was talking about. Let's see, pretty cool. Ship lands in the water. I don't know why. It's all done in the dark too, which I didn't like. They had a special. Uh, the the crew who made the second movie, they they didn't do the movie in a a studio. They did it outside, in the open. They just decided to do that. It made things a lot harder to do. But um, yeah, it, like again, like I said, that they. they they're experts in making monsters and they design stuff really nicely. I mean, the monsters, I mean, the wolf is one of my favorite characters, you know, my favorite predators. So, yeah, but the movie, you know, didn't do that well, so. But they're working on a third one, hopefully this year they'll come out or maybe next year. And um, maybe it'll get better, the stories. This is a nice picture of the back of the wolf. You can see the predator's um, cleaner case. And uh, let's see. Let's go through this faster because this is one of the crew members and all the stuff they have to carry in, in, in the movie. Basically, this first phase of the book covers pictures of the crew and the, the alien and uh, the predator, people that worked on it, you know, gory stuff. Uh, let's see, that's him coming out of the woods right there, or the water, I think. This is a nice picture of an alien, a lot of detail. And let's see, right here is the Preda alien. Can you see it? And let's see, any more nice pictures? Let's see, wow, look at this picture. I mean, look at this picture, wow. Look at that. Some of these pictures are good for like, for drawing or painting, you know, they're so nice. Uh, here's a predator fighting the predator alien. Nice, nice picture. So, you know, oh, I heard that these suits absorb water because they're, they're like sponges. So imagine that, like the suits start weighing a lot for these actors when they're on set. Because uh, some of the battles take place in the rain and in a sewer, so it wasn't fun for them, you know. So he's a victim right here. And let's see, as an alien, it's a scene where an alien goes into a pool. So it's pretty cool. It, it's not one of my favorite scenes, but you know, there's a scene also where the predator goes into the hospital, goes into the maternity ward. It's kind of gross. He impregnates all these pregnant women. So, um, 
Oh, here's a good picture of the wolf. Pretty cool. Right here, he's cleaning with his blue fluid liquid. And see, oh, the Pred Alien right here is a cutscene where they he inherits the the hunting gene of the predator. So basically, he cut, he kills them, skins them, and puts them upside down, hangs them upside down, just like the the predators do. And uh, here's a nice picture of him putting on his comrade's uh, helmet. And there's more pictures of just set stuff. And oh, this is the alien section. I I like the alien. There's one thing I didn't like about the alien. It's that they chromed him like gunmetal. Since he's an organic, I didn't like the feeling that he was, looked like he was made out of metal. But still, it's a beautiful design. You can see right here the sculpture. You know, and then they cast it and it makes silicon uh, molds. I mean, casts. And then they, they do the animatronics inside, which, you know, it's just a ton and ton of work, you know. The, I mentioned that servos are these little mechanical motors they use in remote control airplanes. But they, they're getting to make them so small and now they, they can use them on these animatronics and they could move their eyes and, and um, you know, they can move limbs and mouths and, you know, blink and all these things like, you know, the face hugger's legs and all that. This is the thing I mean about painting like gunmetal, you know, but still it's a really beautiful design. So, you know, here's some face huggers being fine final stages of painting so it's just a lot of cool stuff I recommend it if, just for the picture itself just for the pictures I mean you see some beautiful pictures I mean look look at this one right here that's really nice you know so just for reference I mean look at these concept stuff wow amazing look at that Farzad concept designer look at that so there's just tons and tons of stuff you know, concept stuff, you know, more paintings, you know, more concept on a predator, as you can see. And uh, here are some artists I know, Joey Orozco and Steve Lang, I think. Joey Orozco, used to, uh, he works for uh, uh, Legacy Effects, Stan Winston Studios, so he's a, a veteran sculptor. He sculpted the mask. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And this guy, he's uh, he works on Mask Rider, and he's worked on... The Predator um, movies before, so they're freaking awesome sculptors, really cool artists. More casting, um, oh weapons, check this out, pretty awesome. The cannons, that's what, that's what I like about the wolf, the double cannon wolf. He has double cannons, he has a whip, amazing design on the whip, beautiful, it cuts to the aliens like butter, I, I mean, you know. There's all these things that you, you don't know in a movie and they explain it to you, like the power fist. You know, he punches through this uh, sewer. So they explain it to you too. Uh, look at this beautiful concept painting of the cleaner case. I mean, it's just awesome, you know, the landmines, the blue liquid, the syringe, you know. So he tracks xenomorphs, concept stuff for the helmet. I mean, it's just tons and tons of stuff. He's working on a final helmet, the bio. So, it's just pretty cool though, the inside of the helmet. I like that. Nice stuff. Look at that syringe, the medical kit, the gauntlet, the blades, the computer. Everything is in here. Oh, by, the ch by, by this is a real laser. It's no effect. They really put a laser in his helmet. And yeah, the Proto Alien concept stuff. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm rushing through this because I'm running out of time, but I mean, you can see there's tons and tons of pictures, you know? So I recommend this book if you're a collector, if you like collecting, if you're into aliens and predators. Awesome book, man. It's beautiful sculptures, just everything you need to know about monster making. If you're into monsters, this is it. You should get this book. It's, it's just awesome. You know, ABI rocks, they're really good monster makers. And um, yeah, buy this book. Costs like 20 bucks, I think. You get it at Amazon, any eBay, it's pretty good. So uh, please subscribe to my channel and take care, guys.